Hi everybody, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use everything inside your Create Volume 3 or the Create Volume 3 Faith Planner. So these are very similar. The only difference is that one is Faith Edition and the other one is just Normal Life Edition, but this tutorial is going to help for both tutorials. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the planner. I am using GoodNotes 5. Um, if you're having trouble transferring your planner to GoodNotes 5, watch the previous video. Here, I'm just gonna show you how to get the most out of it. So some hidden links that I want to show you, uh, um, these are some of them. So if you go to your monthly view, all of these corners right here, whether you got the Sunday or the Monday start, only for the first day of the week, these corners will take you to the corresponding weekly view. So as you can see, each weekly view looks the same, but it is actually a different page that when you start numbering yourself, you'll see how it all fits in. Also, these little bubbles take you to your daily view. This is the daily view of the Create Volume 3. And then the Faith Planner's daily view is a little bit different. It does come with praise and gratitude, prayer, and then a Bible verse. And then this one just comes blank with space for you to write your own notes, but it still comes with the schedule and your to-do. So the way you would date these planners is you would just get your pen tool and then you would just start dating depending on the corresponding, I don't even think these numbers are right, I'm just doing it random. So you would date it yourself, and then whenever you wanna to go to that weekly view, you would also date it yourself here. So that's kind of how you can do it. You can also use stickers, you can use a font, but I find the easiest way is just with your pen tool. So before every monthly view, you get a monthly planning sheet. It comes in both planners, let me show you over here. This is what the monthly planning sheets look like. And over here on the side, you do get five digital journals that you can use for whatever you want. So you would access them through here. Um, it's going to take you to your index and you can actually label them here. Like if I wanna call this meetings, I can then click on this tab and it's going to take me to this one. And then I can label it here meetings. You can't label the actual tabs here. Like if I label here meetings, it won't do it on every page. That is why I created the index so that you're able to label them here. So you have your year at a glance, your goals, um, planning sheets, and your vision board. And then on the faith one, you have also similar, you have the year at a glance, your Bible tracker, your prayer list, your goals, and vision board also. Let's go ahead and talk about the extra pages and I'm going to show you how to change out your weekly views. Our first, first thing I'll show you is how to move one of these pages into one of your tabs. So let's just say you see this specific template. I don't know which one. Let's just do a random one. Let's just say you see this template, right? You want to move this template to one of these tabs. So you're going to go to your four squares. You're going to select the template and hit copy. Then you're going to go to wherever it is that you want to insert it. Let's just say I want to insert it here. Four squares, arrow, add page after, and we're going to hit paste page. And you can paste the page unlimited times. So now every time I go to this tab right here, I pasted the page from my extra pages. And you can do that with any page that's on here. Um, I do want to show you how to flip out your weekly views because I personally like to flip them out. So let's just say you like this specific weekly view. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a screenshot of your page and then you're going to crop and make sure you crop exactly because it really does matter when you're making it fit your page. So I'm gonna hit done, save to photos. Then let's just say I wanna insert that weekly page here and I don't want this one, I want the other one. You're gonna go up here and then you're gonna hit the little um, photos icon, tap on it and it's going to be the one you just screenshot it and all you have to do is stretch it out to fit exactly your page. So as you can see, the little X is in the corner. So I think I just need a little bit more. And that looks, that looks about right. So now we're just gonna test it out that the links should still be working. And as you can tell, they are. So now every time I go to this link, it's going to take me to this weekly view. The only downside to adding a screenshot as an insert is that when you do a screenshot, you do lose a little bit of quality. So I'm gonna show you another way you can actually flip out the weekly views. Really quickly, if you decide to add stickers like this, let's just pretend this is a sticker. If you try to move around your sticker with your lasso tool, it's actually gonna move around your whole template. So you can grab the pictures tool and then you can move your sticker 
to wherever it is that you want. And whenever you're using text, you can move the text by turning off images and then moving the text wherever it is that you want. So let's go ahead and erase all of this. And I'm going to show you another way to do this so you can keep the full quality of the weekly view. So you go to extra pages and choose your template again. Let's just say it's this one, four squares, select, and we're going to select it. And I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to hit done. And then I'm going to go to where I want to insert it. So I want to insert it here four squares and I can go arrow add page after and I'm going to paste the page now whenever I go to this weekly view I just have to swipe one to get to the one I really want and it is a hundred percent full quality in order for you not to like waste this page you can use it with something else you can cover it with the screenshot option you can just get like a line paper and put it over it the way I showed you right now the screenshots, that way you can use this for notes of the week, brain dumps or something. That way you slide one and you have your weekly view. The only thing I do wanna mention is don't erase pages that have links. So if you have to tap to get to it, it has a link. If you have to slide to get to it, it doesn't have a link. So in this particular case, this page actually does have a link because it is part of my weekly views. So I can't delete this page, but I can delete this one because this one doesn't have a link. So even if you're not gonna use a page, like if you're not gonna use your daily view, don't delete it because every daily page that has a link or any page, it could mess up your planner if you delete a page that has a link. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to use the stickers. So what you're going to do is grab your lasso tool and you're gonna go around your sticker, tap inside of it, take a screenshot and then you can hit copy then you can go to your monthly viewer wherever you want to insert it long press space long press crop and i like to take the white out because i personally don't like it you can also do freehand if you're doing like a sticker that has like a shape and then you can put your sticker wherever you want i do recommend that whenever you crop a sticker go ahead and grab it and copy it and then go back to your stickers page and long press and paste paste it that way next time you want to use it all you have to do is grab it copy and paste because you already did the pre-cropping for it so that's kind of a little trick that i like to do so this tutorial is basically helping you understand everything oh by the way these are extra tabs that you have so you can label them here like if these tabs are not enough and you want this to be for bills or whatever it is that you want label it here then you can tap on it and then insert your own templates here. So um, these this tutorial was both for the Create Volume 3 and the Create Volume 3 Faith Planner. If you come across any questions, never hesitate to send me a message. I'm always a message away. Bye!